Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Ollie's mom. Um, today I'm just gonna be very casual. This is gonna be a get to know me better chit chat version. Um, yeah, so I'm Ollie's mom. I am a fragrance reviewer. If you're new here, welcome. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for your support. I really appreciate it. Um, I want all of you to get to know me better. I really enjoy my perfume journey so far. I have met so many amazing people. I met a lot of subscribers that I consider friends right now. And I really, really appreciate for all you do, for all the nice comments. The support that you've given me has meant a lot. And I really, really appreciate that. So yeah, um, I have about 17 questions that I wrote in a piece of paper that I'm going to answer casually. Um, this is from Jen Getstone28, Hayes R and Susan Hegstorm. What is your career? Um, so I am um, an engineer. To be exact, I'm a software engineer. So I do programming. That's my day job. Oops. Yeah, so engineering is my career. I've been in the industry for 10 years. I've been in the research. I've been in the engineering the department, sustaining, manufacturing, supply chain. I've done a little bit of everything. I've also been in management. But yeah, so that is my career. And I plan to continue working I'm a proud women engineer. I consider YouTube as a hobby. The money that I got from YouTube is not much at all. At all. It doesn't even support a portion of my expenses at all. At least not at this point in time. But yeah, so that is my career. When did you start collecting fragrances and what got you started? So this is from Joyous and from Sta from Sal, Big Nap Sal. Um, so Sal has a YouTube channel. I really, really enjoy watching her video. So if you haven't checked her out, um, I'm going to put her, a link to her channel in the description down below. Um, I started collecting fragrances about last year. It started off with, I had to go through a certain point in my life and was actually going through a relationship issue and a divorce. So I had to find a way to escape and regulate my emotion. While the relationship was really struggling, I actually watched beauty youtube all the time i was an avid youtube watcher i watch kathleen light and then one day i watched her video about um, fragrance video and she introduced me to pink sugar aqualina so that was my first perfume that i bought um, since the collection started so that was my first perfume satin say that um, jade pendant is there a story behind it do you wear it every day yeah, so this was gifted from my mom. So this is really precious to me. I do wear this every day. Um, I live in the US and my mom is not in this country. So that's why wearing this pendant reminds me of her because it's, it's from her. So do you wear it every day? Yeah, I do wear it every day. <laughs> All right, so Mighty Strong, how did you collecting of perfume start? Yeah, I just answered that. Do you start, do you stress by when you're sad, mad, anxious, or worried? I do stress by when I am anxious and worried. I'm not a, maybe I do stress by when I'm sad and mad. Not so much when, when I'm mad, but maybe. So far, I've only stressed by when I'm anxious and worried. Um, but 
I think through fragrances, I'm able to regulate that. How does your family feel about your collection? I am a single mom, so I guess I don't have my parents with me at all. It's just me and my kids. They enjoy my perfume collection. They wear perfume, so my kids wear Pink Sugar, Aqualina, and Ellie Sub Girl of Now Shine. They also wear Philosophy Fresh Cream, and they wear Lattice and Perfumer Saffron Troublin. So yeah, they are. They love my perfume collection. They love smelling perfume, and then they they enjoy wearing perfume as well. Uh, do they think you're strange or they ask for any? No, I don't have any immediate family here that will ask for any perfume or at all. Are you ever guilty after a huge or expensive purchase? I am not feeling guilty after expensive purchase because purchases for me are planned, I think. I have a budget in mind. I'm actually quite savvy financially and I just created a separate YouTube channel which I'm gonna link down below where I'm going to record my financial journey throughout this whole perfume buying and perfume consumerism as well as the income that I got from YouTube I'm going to be transparent and I'm going to go through it in detail in another channel because I'd like to separate it um, this is just for fun channel and that channel is for my financial journey how does your mate feel about your collection and does he purchase them for you no i did not get any perfume from anybody it's all it's all purchased by me how what was your first perfume ever pink sugar aqualina sal what makes you want to start a channel um, I've always been an explorer in my personality type. I like to try out a certain hobby and I like to dwell deep into it. So as of now, I am really, really obsessed with perfume. Perfume makes me feel happy and I really enjoy wearing perfume. So yeah, why do I want to start a channel? I've always been a very... I guess out there kind of person I like to get myself busy otherwise I fall into depression I think in the past I was married so I was busy er and I was also active in a non-profit organization for 10 plus years I was doing different roles I was doing um, director roles secretary vice chair and then I did my president term for two years and I finished that so now this year I'm a past chair and COVID-19 hits so there isn't much for me to do and obsessed with and at the time my perfume collections already a lot I have 50 plus bottle at the time maybe 40 plus bottle yeah I already have 40 plus bottle so I figured I am going to try to start my YouTube channel and I have fear of having to speak in front of audience. Yeah, even though I was a president, that's the least enjoyable part, of, which is having to go out up in public and do public speaking. So that is really nerve wracking. So I figure YouTube is a safe heaven for me. My YouTube channel will not impact work at all because I'm in engineering whereas YouTube is perfume so I could blab about perfume and curse and nobody at work will care about it at all um, the only thing that they care about is just what scent I'm wearing for the day and I always make my coworkers smell me like ooh, can you smell what do you smell and I will interrogate them of the scent of the day so yeah yeah, so I guess it's a personal challenge why I started a channel. That's just who I am, I guess. Um, fragrance, aesthetic, and perfume lover asked me where were you born. So I was born in Indonesia. Um, my parents were a Chinese 
immigrant during Japanese invasion and then they somehow ended up in Indonesia and here I am in the States I came here for school and I got a job and I got married and I have kids and now here I am Eve's Love Spider what is the most underrated fragrance that's a really really tough question um, right now the one that's that I rarely hear anyone talk about is Serge Luton Datura Noir. It's such a beautiful scent. Oh, it's coconut, tuberose, alang, almond. It's such a beautiful scent. I haven't heard anybody in at least the circle that the YouTuber that I watched, I haven't heard anyone talk about it. And I just recently blind bought it from a recommendation from one of my friends on Instagram. And I absolutely love it. It's such a beautiful fragrance. I'm going to do a review perfume haul video or something where I'm going to talk about it. But yeah, I absolutely love it. Misty Alago. Would you consider yourself a collector or just a lover of fragrance? I am not a collector. I am a lover of fragrance. I set a rule that I don't want to have more than 50 bottles, but right now it's like 85. It's ridiculous. But I'm not ready to let go. I enjoy all of them. She said, in my opinion, I think there's a big difference. I feel collector by fragrances just to have or say the habit. Yeah, I agree. I am not a collector. A fragrance lover has tons of fragrances and likes and wears them all. Yeah, so that's me. I'm very liberal at using my fragrances. Jamie Truesdale, tell us a little about Ollie since my channel name is Ollie's mom. Yeah, Ollie is my dog, was my dog. He's no longer with me. An American Eskimo breed, really cute, fluffy, white. I had him and he was with us for five years. Me and I forever will love Ollie. He's my first dog. And since then I had Roscoe and also had Mr. Bond, but they both already left as well. I always adopted older dog. I never want to buy a new younger dog because I feel that a lot of people want to adopt a younger, fluffy, cute dog, but the older dog, they're just left in the pond, hoping that somebody will adopt them. And if nobody adopts them, then, you know, they put them down. So that's, that's why I always adopt older dog. And I, I know that they have health issue, but I try to do my best to take care of them, you know? And usually people here are very honest if there's an issue with the dog. When you adopt the dog, they'll, they'll come with a health record too. So you know that they're in a somewhat healthy condition. Sarah Smile, a video about most complex fragrances. Yeah, I could do that. Um, yeah, that would be a separate video though. Just add light, who's Ollie? I just answered that. Jennifer Latifa, what is the first fragrance you remember buying? Pink Sugar, Aqualina, and Absolute. Are you married? Um, not currently. Where do you live? Houston, Texas. Who's your celebrity crush? Ryan Gosling. <laughs> um, why did you start your channel? I answered that already. Are you having fun with YouTube? Yeah, I certainly having fun, a lot of fun with YouTube. There are so many amazing people that are my subscriber. I love all of you guys. Thank you so much for your support. And I just am a big fan. Like now, Jen Jones, Sarah Smile, Love Sen. I think her name is Natalie, Natalie from Sweden. Like all of you are such a good friends and Susan Hex Storms has been a supporter of mine. Mighty strong. 
VLDs, <laughs> I think, I hope I mentioned your name right. But anyway, so I love a lot of you guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, so Cherry with Roses. Three things you want to do before you die. I think I'm going to try bungee jumping. That scares me. I do want to try. But I don't know if I want to do that. I'm really scared. I want to go to South Africa. I want to go to the continent of Africa. I've never been. It just sounds so exotic. And Paulina Shar is boyfriend or fiance is from South Africa. And I've always wanted to go to South Africa. I also want to go to check out the safari. I don't know. It's just that it sounds so exotic. I've never been to that continent. I've been to Europe. I've been to Asia. I've been to the States. I've been to Australia. Oh, I also want to go to Middle East. I've never been to Middle East. That would be nice if one day I get to go to and explore fragrances there. That would be so nice. Yeah, so I want to try bungee jumping. I want to try going to africa continents i'm gonna try going to middle east and i also want to travel to south america i've been to central america but i haven't been to south america like argentina sensational sent us what is two of your favorite fragrances that got discontinued oh alien essence absolute that's my favorite um i don't know if there is another one that's discontinued yeah actually never pay attention to if a fragrance is discontinued um, I know that Shalimar Souffle Intense is discontinued but I don't recommend that one so yeah Alien Essence Absolute GSD2407 asks, what fragrances have you outgrown but keep because of a Mary attached to it? Uh, Chanel, Chanel Coco Mademoiselle Intense. So I have the regular one and I have the Intense. And I wore the Intense for quite a bit at some point in time. Um, I've outgrown it because I preferred the original more. Um, but I have a memory attached to it. It was the perfume that I wore after I broke up with my ex to a Christmas party in Austin. It was such a sad memory. I feel like I should let go of that perfume because it's such, it reminds me of that time. But I'm not ready to let go. I don't think I will ever let it go. I'm not sure. Anyway. Yeah. Um, that's it, guys. That's these, all the 17 questions that I got. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye. So, the winner of my thousand subscriber giveaway is number 49 yummy 411 <laughs> actually know her so yummy congratulations and let me know um, which three you're gonna pick I know that you already have dancing roses and I know that you already have um, Delina exclusive, I think. So, I don't know if you have Intense Cafe, but let me know. You could pick any three from my collection that I have a full bottle of. Yep. Congratulations, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.